Four one eight five out of Weber State. Then you've got four. Long can shoot six seven two ten out of Holy Cross. Cody Clark is a six seven four two thirty five out of Arkansas. And then Omari Johnson. You'll get familiar with that game. 6'9", 215. He's sort of like their Devin Ebanks out of Oregon State. He's long, he can shoot, and he can really score the basketball. Thus taking the first shot, and he knocks down a triple on cue as Maine won the opening tap. They were in their visiting red uniforms with the white number. And go inside, establish that inside presence, open up the three-point line for the shooters, and Maine going a little 2-3 matchup zone there, not really having a true five-man on the floor. Uh, trying to protect the paint. Henry knocked down the second one. 3-1 our score in favor of Maine. Stringer off a high screen. Going down the paint. Kicks out right side. On the way. The triple up and good. Nothing but Barry, nylon Barry, for Davion Barry. Barry out of Weber State. So they've knocked down both corners. If winning at Idaho last Friday night. They were off for the weekend. That's kind of rare in the D-League for the Grand Rapids drive. They pulled one out 99-96. Devin Ebanks, who takes the triple there, misses. Had a game high 32 points, 8 rebounds, 4 steals in that win. But Gary Tolton, season high 23 points and also 6 assists, Drew. Yeah, well, we know Gary can score the basketball. He just hasn't looked for a shot a lot of the time this so far in Grand Rapids. Malcolm Miller drains a 3 from the left wing. That's three. just the second meet of the season between these two. The drive won the previous meeting, 128 to 119 to shoot out. That was back on January 18th. Two, by the way, still coming up in Maine, March 11th and 13th. Uh, Devin Ebanks setting the Grand Rapids Drive scoring record in that game, 43 points. Omari Johnson stepped through. Henry Sims comes over to bother. Nice job. Rebound, Devin Ebanks. He'll lead the break. Big fella at 6'9". The Mountaineer takes to the rack. No, but he's, Devin gets them both, 11 to 3. 7 o'clock, 6.45 pregame coverage. We'll be over on ESPN 961 on Friday night. Then Saturday night, another family four-pack night. We're going to be right back here, so back-to-back -back nights at home, 645 right here on Talk 1230 MW, TKG locally, and the Iowa Energy back in town with Coach Donawal. String on the penetration to Clark. Shot clock down to two, down to one. He just throws it up, no off the back iron. Rebound, Henry Sims. Good defense, Sims, top of the key. Down low to Cam Ann Holzen, getting pushed by Johnson. Nice job by Cam, using his body that time. That's one thing Maine is not, not bulky down low, thus Johnson really playing kind of a flex center. And they attacked him with Holsey with his size for an easy finger roll. Yeah, Grand Rapids should be able to exploit that all night. And great job by Cam. He wasn't going to be not denied on that one. Miller the three, too strong off the back iron. So now Maine's gone cold as hot as they were to start this game. 11 to 5, the lead is 6. Well, Sims down low to Holsey. And that one was thrown up through the bottom as the defender. And ate them. And <laughs> Cam was off balance and couldn't get the shot up on the board. Cam trying to shake off a little injury there as he had a misstep. Barry kicks it right side to Levi Randolph, who just checked in. Ball reverse to Omari Johnson for another triple, his second of the night. Randolph, by the way, a 6'6", 200 to finish over Miller that time with his size. And Drew, this reminds me of the game back in January. Up and down, great pace to well, call for us. Yeah, these are two of the better offensive teams in the D-League, but Grand Rapids can't keep trading three for two with the main red claws if they want to get back into this one. Triple no good out top by Davion Barry. Long carom out to Maine. Now they're posted up down low. Malcolm Miller spins. Oh, great block by Henry Sims. He was going to go up for the slam on the smaller Talton, and now they dig it out of there. Talton needs some help from 15, and he buries it. Gary Talton like to see him get his shot going early. And Drew, I know you really like his game. Maybe that was a breakout game for him in that win over Idaho. Yeah, he's, he's struggled that time shooting the basketball this year, but he has it in him, a veteran of this league, and he's had a nice season so far here in Grand Rapids, especially with Lorenzo Brown being out. Barry over right side to Omari Johnson, and he loves shooting at the Delta Plex. That's his fourth triple already. Nice drop back pass to Henry Sims, and that's about the length of his range, right at the top of the key, knocking down the two. Yeah, we haven't seen him shoot the ball from that far out. He's usually stays at 15, 16 foot, but nice job by the big fella, squaring up, knocking it down. Made the top team in the Atlantic Division coming in with that 20 and 13 record. Randolph tried to force that one up. No, Henry Sims battle for the rebound. Will stay with me, and they say Henry Ladd. Yeah, they're red hot. And out of Weber State. Dante Jones, top of the key with a shot clock at eight. Over to Barlow for three. From the left wing, too long. Holsey battling for the rebound. And he was successful in knocking it. Stale, but... 
How about that old school move? Yeah. Threw it off the back of Cody Clark, who wasn't looking, and grabbed it and slammed it home with a two-handed flush for Devin Ebanks. Hey, we'll take points anyway. 11.01 oh. left to go, and don't forget, fans, back here. Experience as far as the Grand Rapids Drive fans are concerned. Yeah, and Spencer Dinwiddie, who spent yep. a significant amount of time. I mean, you look across the NBA D-League, there's not a lot of teams with that kind of NBA experience on their rosters. Xavier Ford, by the way, in for the first time tonight for Grand Rapids. Tryout player that made this club on the University of Buffalo. Stringer now trying to force it up. No. And then shot clock violation. As he's going to be called for a travel. Shuffled the feet before he went up that line. Down from about 15 feet out. <laughs> got all the way underneath the basket and just shuffled the puffy puppies. But a nice job by Johnson there. Holding his ground. By the way, Friday night with the Westchester Knicks will be on the air at 645 with three-game coverage over on the FM side, ESPN 961. Stringer for three left side, way off the mark. Holsey bothered that one, long care to Barlow. Barlow quickly down the lane, nice European step through, and he finishes with the right hand. Hey. dip for Pistons and Drive fans tonight because the Pistons, after that tough loss to New Orleans, 59 points and 20 rebounds by Anthony Davis. Pelicans win it 111-106 the Palace. Detroit had to go to LeBron James in Cleveland tonight. But good news for the Pistons, up five after one in Cleveland, 33-28. Reggie Jackson, who had 34 in the loss with a dunk. Jackson with the, the recent trade of Brandon Jennings. No, he Elsie Barlow has 10, now making 13 after a nice triple. Kelsey Barlow starting to pick up the pace, and he's helping Grand Rapids get back in this game here in the second quarter. Yeah, it's been the Kelsey Barlow show in the second quarter. Andre Stringer. Nice crossover, penetration, kick out. Cody Clark for three, why not? Everyone else is knocking him down. Cody Clark, a 6'7", 6'7", power forward, hits the three from the corner for Maine. Uh, again. Main Red Claw shooters is spotting up wide open. Oh. Grand Rapids has to do a better job keeping those guys in front of them, not giving them the driving lane, creating open opportunities for these guys. Up ahead, Corey Walden. Walden hangs in the air and gets it to go. Nice job by Kelsey, trying to challenge and avoid not following him, but wasn't able to stop him, 44-33. Randolph, Barry has a left wing fly, next pass to Miller. No on the three, left and short rebound, Devin Ebanks. Dixon Tatum is their center in the middle, then string of the point guard. Turning, triple is no good that time. By Barlow, back to the way quickly, Davion Barry over Tolt with a left-handed finish. Barry just coast to coast, nobody stepped over to, to help, takes it all the way to the rack. Otis Smith, ran up and drive, gets the main red claws, their second meet of the season. And Back in, Henry Sims off the bench, can't knock down the 15-footer. Rebound, Maine. They pretty much led throughout, up by 14 now, 47-33. Just over six minutes left to go here, first half. I want to invite you to stay with us. Coming up at halftime, we got a special local guest. As we triple by Randolph, no good from the left wing. Rebound, Gary Tolton. Michelle Van Dyke is going to join us. She's the CEO of West Michigan's United CEO of West Michigan's United Way. And always a part of the charitable causes of the Grand Rapids Drive the local community is Kelsey Barlow with a drive and dish this time. Left hand to Henry Sims, wide open on the back side of the lane for an easy two-handed slam for the big fella. And yeah, nice job by Kelsey. Back to the way, flying down the lane with Stringer. Look at the little man, gets it up off the window for two. The Red Claws don't waste any time coming back at you. They give up a bucket, but it's supposed to come in, but it right. got snowed out. And uh, I think we're going to make that game up, what, at the end of the season, uh, late March? March 28th, by the way. If you had tickets for that game, March 28th, which I believe is a Monday night. You and I will be here for that one. They've got one of the better players in the league on their roster as well as far as the NBA prospect watch list. Now down low, Dixon Tatum with the left hand. Former Auburn Tiger, seven-footer. Footer from left elbow in rhythm. Knocks it down, 51-38 as we approach four and a half minutes left to go second quarter. Good crowd on hand, still filing in. Hey, buy one ticket, get one free. And don't forget that's every Monday night here at the Delta Plex with the Grand Rapids Drive on the penetration. Barry kicks in the corner, Randolph, extra pass like Drew was talking about for three. Miller couldn't knock it down from the top. Rebound, Henry Sims. One and done for the Red Claws, 51-38, three. Corey Walden with 22, Omari Johnson with 21. 
list goes on and on. Well, that's why I say, Brett, they maybe don't have one go-to guy, one right. superstar, but you can tell this team is very well coached. They do a phenomenal job driving the basketball hard to the basket and then kicking it out to the open shooters, something they obviously drill on every day in practice. Tough team to guard. Walden, by the way, got it snuffed out when he went down with the bigs. Ball knocked loose. Grand Rapids comes snuffed out when he went down with the bigs. Ball knocked loose. Grand Rapids comes up with it. Ford, can he knock down the jumper? No. Just too long. Rebound Amari Johnson. Boy, that would have been big to cut it to single digits again. 51-40, the lead is 11. Stay with us for the drive. A halftime show at the intermission. We'll update the Pistons and Cavs game as well. Runner up and good along the left baseline. That was a tough shot by Karan Williams. Looking for him. Riding the hot hand, Levi Randolph. Two-man game with Amari Johnson. Ford on him, tough matchup, giving up some size. Fathers it though with his muscle. Randolph penetrates, kick out Walden, fakes the three. Runner in traffic, no off the front of the rim. Look at Dixon Tatum trying to slam it home, no. Gets a rebound, Henry holding his... Own and Cam Holsey with a shot block from the backside. Not dead. Yeah, I'd love to get this thing within. Beautifully done with Gary Tolton. Another bounce fast between two defenders and Henry Sims with a great catch and finish. Great dish there. Flying down the lane on the roll through the basket. Gary Tolton might be one of those guys who knocks out the single game assist record here with Grand Rapids. Just a good guy with that. Sense to look for others now. Henry Sims going to get a cheap one. Moving a little bit, and the ref gave him the benefit of the doubt to Cody Clark. Wing down low to Holsey. Holsey tries to go underneath the basket. Nice job. Gets Amari Johnson on a seal and puts it up and in. Amari's claimed he got hooked, but no call. Eight point game, 55 47. Amari Johnson out top. Devin Ebanks. On the switch, Randolph goes flying in. He wanted to tomahawk that one home. Got knocked at six foot six, two ten. Can shoot it. It could score by mentioning the drive. Would you apply today? Down the lane. Mari Johnson got it stripped. Really blocked. He went up. Kick out Barlow from Ford for three. Short. Rebound. Karan Williams. Williams with a four on two in the paint to Clark. Boy, they always look for the perimeter. Kicks it out. Now a nice pass on the dump off. And it's Omari Johnson, a nice finish on the assist from Cody Clark. Yeah, again, that ball doesn't even touch the floor. Holsey, shot clock down to 10. Looking to try, puts his head down, and somehow got it to go as he just muscled it up down the right side of the lane over Cody Clark. We'll take it, 59-49. Drive will get another possession here. Shot clock at 16, game clock at 39 seconds and ticking. Walden on the penetration kick out and Holsey going to be called for a foul as he took out Karan Williams. Proud to be the official housing partner of your Grand Rapids. Williams, a nice job. They get it to him. His turns goes baseline and that's 6'9", folks, going up against six foot. The help came too late for Maine. Final 10 seconds, shot clock off. Scott Morrison signaling the play. 61-51 Maine. Levi Randolph lost the dribble. Got it back, though, and now throws it for three. Oh, halfway down, and thank goodness for the Grand Rapids drive. Popped out. Well, percent of the team. That's pretty basketball for Grand Rapids, like we saw with the ball moving to Maine in the first half. Yeah, that's that extra pass you talked about. Grand Rapids needs a little bit of that recipe, and... It's a recipe for success. When you move the basketball, you don't hold it. Let the defense get set. Keep them on their heels. Dante Jones knocking down a big three right there. Down to nine. Omari Johnson left-handed hook. No over Tolton. And what do we have? A whistle. The defense gets set. Keep them on their heels. Dante Jones knocking down a big three right there. Down to nine. Omari Johnson left-handed hook. No over Tolton. And what do we have? A whistle. A hurry here. Davey looking for the lob, not there. Gets into Stringer. He'll force that one up. That's an air ball. Shot clock violation, but they play on. Henry Sims with the rebound. Devin Ebanks left wing to a cutting Cam Holsey down low with the left hand. Shot the rebound. Devin Ebanks left wing to a cutting Cam Holsey down low with the left hand. Shot blocked, but off the window. Offensive goal 10. Count them. Just under 10 minutes left to go. Third quarter. Grand Rapids drive getting more energy from this club as we go along. Stringer leaves it for Clark, who puts it up and in over Holsey. 
Boy, those two are battling right now in the low block. Johnson. 65-58. Clark in the front court. Big fell on a clear out working against Sims. Sims rides him to the baseline. Kick out to Berry. Davion with Talton on him. Switch now. Ebanks picks him up. Omari Johnson around. Holsey tried the left hand and finished his short arm. Rebound Gary Talton. Wants to push. Devin Ebanks trying to step through. Force that one up. No. Tap by Ebanks. No. And uh, the talent night in, night out that comes in. I mean, you recognize. Yeah. 90% of these guys if you're a college basketball fan and watch the NCAA tournament. I mean, Duke, Georgia Tech, Oregon State, LSU, all on the floor right now. West Virginia, it's our big time program. Stringer now on a pick and roll shot blocked by Henry Sims. He swats it out of there, by the way, on the other end. Holding out one of two, six point affair, 68. It's our big time program. Stringer now on a pick and roll shot blocked by Henry Sims. He swats it out of there, by the way, on the other end. Holding out one of two, six point affair, 68. And by the M by the way, the NBA D League is not going anywhere, folks. People always ask me, well, I hope they stick around. They're not going anywhere. Shot blocked, by the way, Cam Holsey on Miller. Grand Rapids comes up with a nice job by Cam. They're only looking to expand this league and feature it. That then for that, that end of the year push. Yep. Hopefully he can. You know, with his NBA experience, you know, a lot of a lot of playoff bound teams fighting for playoff position can always use the extra big fella for security inside. Got both free throws there. By the way, I don't want to shortchange him and his alma mater. The Hoyas at Georgetown. Triple no good by Randolph. Henry Sims battling, got the rebound. Hands off to Gary Tolton. Five on three momentarily. And now Tolton with a nice elevation jumper from 15 on the right side. Ties it up at 68 apiece. Gary Talton might be one of those X factors tonight. Dante Dean up, Levi Randolph over to Davy. Little hop step in the jump here of Grand Rapids. Over for three, around and out, starting to cool off Maine. Miller with a rebound though, put back. Oh, and a foul, count it. Nice at the Michigan lottery. Cam Holsey with the free throw, can't get it to go. That would have given Grand Rapids their first lead in a long time. So we're tied at 70 under the halfway point here in the third quarter. Just over five minutes left to go. Walden penetrates, kicks right side in the corner. Randolph Miller, but I got it with a travel. Now drives the lane. Oh, my goodness. No, you don't like to see that. Devin Ebanks holding the knee as he was long, lanky frames. He is 100%. Talton. Way lob over to Dante Jones, right side. Dante down low to Holsey. Turnaround jumper. Halfway down, but couldn't get it. Rebound, Levi Randolph. Here come the Red Claws, back on the attack. Down the left wing, Walden. Out top to Randolph, gets it back. Walden down low, and Dixon Tatum called for Hassan Dixon Tatum at the line for Maine. Ford now, off the right elbow. Hand off Dante Jones, that's for two, and yes, Dante knocks it down. Dante starting to pick it up in the third quarter, just like Barlow did in the second to get the Grand Rapids drive back in this ball game. Dante shooting the ball very well tonight, playing with a lot of confidence, as always, and is the, the veteran leader of this team. Levi Randolph, by the way, pretty move with the left hand around Dante Jones and finishes. Holsey for the slam. Boy, Gary Tolton right now really setting up his teammates. Here we go, Drew, back and forth, 74 apiece, under four minutes to go in the third. It's going to be a wild, fun fourth quarter. Stick around for this one, folks. Live here on Talk 1230 MWTKG, maybe watching on the YouTube channel. Dixon Tatum out top to Randolph. Shot clock down to five. Penetrates, kicks, Walden for three. Wow. Snap, fadeaway jumper. Yes! Shooters touch. Nice screen by Cam Holsey to free him. By the way, that last triple by Wall, that's 11 made threes in this ball game by me. So they are deadly. Kind of remind you of Michigan on the college front. They really like that perimeter game. And when they're hot, tough to beat. Now a step through by Malcolm Miller. Strong finish that time. Got past his man. Here, but Levi Randolph, he's oh man, he is a very, very good basketball player. He's shown it all tonight. Knocked down some threes, taking it to the rack with some tough finishes and a great alley-oop feed there in the open court. 
know if the ball's getting slippery or what, but that time Ebanks just lost the handle trying to make his move in the block. Now across, might have got away with an extra step. Levi Randolph with a strong right-handed finish. There's that guy again, 95-93, Red Claws, 5-93, Red Claws back in front by two. Approaching the halfway point in the fourth quarter. Xavier Ford on the drive, takes the bump. Nice finish to the left hand. Nice job by Xavier just to bump off Levi Randolph, who's trying to cut him off, thus creating space. And then a nice job, left-handed finish going up strong. And Levi Randolph across the lane. Alden and Dixon Tatum about to check in for Maine. We're about to get immediate timeout here shortly. So they don't want to get away from that and get passive tentative this last five minutes. Oh, Tolton throws it away, trying to do a little pick and roll with Cam Holsey. He couldn't handle the bounce pass. Maine back on the attack. Shot clock at 16, 440 and ticking left to go. Dante Jones, by the way, along with Kelsey Barlow, leading the drive. Jones with 19, Barlow with 20 off the bench as Davey in the bonus here in this fourth quarter. Inbounds, Levi Randolph. Watch by clock at 16, 440 and ticking left to go. Dante Jones, by the way, along with Kelsey Barlow, leading the drive. Jones with 19, Barlow with 20 off the bench as Davey in the bonus here in this fourth quarter. Inbounds, Levi Randolph. Watched by Dante Jones. Switch with Devin Ebanks. Devin kind of backs off and a strong left-handed finish off the window by Levi Randolph. That was big time. Ebanks back to the through. Yeah, well, especially in, at the NBA, in the NBA game, uh, you know, that's really what it is. Coming down, taking advantage of the best mismatch you see on the offensive end and then trying to exploit it. 44 bucks. Just call 844-GR-DRIVE. That's 844-GR-DRIVE today. And by the way, check out the new team store with the great apparel they have at NBAGrandRapids.com. Johnson airballing a three. Cody Clark with tough to stop. See if we can finish it. That's been the problem of Grand Rapids all season long, thus the 500 mark. 16 and 16 overall coming into this contest. Look out for Randolph. He's dangerous. He's got the ball right now. May knows he's kind of the go-to guy along with Johnson if they can get it to him. Speaking of that, he throws to a Johnson kick back out. And offensive foul. Dante jumps to Tolt. Through against a team that is hot as anybody coming in. A six-game winning streak. For Maine. Second one good for Gary. 108 103. Under a minute now. Grand Rapids needs to stop. Walden. Wheel and deal against Holsey right around him and lays it up and in. Boy, how about that hesitation dribble by Corey Walden? Explosive. Now full court pressure by Maine. Friday night. Second of a three game homestand. We'll have them all for us on our stations as Dante gets them both. 110-105. Walden over a high screen from Cody Clark. Now leaves for Clark against Tolton. Goes down the lane, kicks back out. Walden for three. No. Battle for the rebound. Clark got inside position, puts it up and in. Don't want to commit a Jones now. They're counting. Yeah, high it's ball screen point here. Game. Kelsey Barlow over Ebanks. Kelsey willing dealing. Taking the three air ball and immediate timeout for over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, 62 and sunny on Saturday. Wow. It's beautiful. Need a stop here for the Grand Rapids Drive. Randolph gets it in. Shot clock off. Down to 11, down to 10. Davey shot blocked by Ebanks. And then he threw off the bounce on him. Devin Ebanks blocked the shot. And the ball was in the air. Check. First free throw rattles home. Let's see if he can get the second one. This will be big. High arching shot. He rolls it in over the front rim. Now Scott Morrison just going to take a time. You're up five. Going to get the ball back. Davey looking to get it in. Gets it in out top to Randolph. Randolph. Dante Jones all over him. Air ball three out of bounds. And that should just about do it. Grand Rapids now 3.4 seconds. I just don't.